Well, friends, I'm still on the underpainting side. I'm actually uh, working to a point where I'm going to have to lift my easel up. Um, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to um, do the still the shaping of the fur and that's used once again with a beaten up uh, fan brush um, and I'll bring the camera closer to show you what I'm talking about but um, I'm at a point here where I'm still uh, shaping fur with with the darker undertones so uh, once that is done I can then lift the painting and uh, carry on with the bottom this is still the underpainting. See all these strokes in the shape. underpainting shaping the fur uh, there's a couple of coats are going to come after this so uh, um, you know the, originally doing the eyes first what it does it gives me the strength of the painting and how strong I have to be on the background um, and on the fur so uh, this is just part of um, laying down the, the original colors and the initial colors so I'm busy shaping the fur right now and I'll be coming back later on once this is dried. Hi friends. Well, it's Monday back at the easel and uh, still blocking in colors here. Um, it's quite a process, um, you know, there's certain layers and, um, you know, I think a lot of artists have um, all their little tricks uh, um, that they do with brushes and stuff like that you, you know one of mine is is to be shaping the fur and to at least give it a basic outline of where the fur goes and how it lands um, brushes this is what they start off as and this is kind of where it lands up at and that's where we want it to be because um, um, you know it's basically like I say artists uh, um, but anyway, um, so what I'm doing is I'm still blocking in colors here and uh, as I go um, I start shaping the fur because when I come down at least that top part is done and then I can work at the bottom um, I can put my mole stick uh, which is uh, my stick that I use to rest my hand and uh, I don't have paint down the bottom that is wet so here we go, just uh, doing a little bit of uh, blocking in as I go down. And then what I do once I've done that, then I start shaping the fur. Uh, and this is the initial stage of, of shaping the fur. So you take a darker color and you just start shaping it like that. When you've done that and it's drier, then you come back and you start really doing the proper fur. So. Uh, We'll continue and um, show you some more bit later on. Thank you. highlights 
the spot that makes it alive. Yeah. 